time is a familiar concept to everyone. Defined by units such as seconds, minutes, and hours, this linear understanding of time is generally accepted. However, when time is to be visualized, it is common to see clocks or calendars marking the passage of time. These illustrations, however, only reflect the tangible aspects of the flow of time. They only superficially reflect the elusive nature of time, a phenomenon that governs our lives and cannot be explained by even the most intelligent minds on Earth. The question arises, what is time? And is there concrete evidence for its existence? Aristotle's statement about time being the most unknown of all unknown things, made almost 2,500 years ago, remains true today. Searching on Google for the definition of time reveals it as a dimension particularly evident when scheduling events like meeting a friend for coffee. However, this definition has a flaw as it overlooks the aspect of time as a measurement. For instance, stating one's birth in the 1990s signifies a temporal measure of over 30 years ago, whereas expressing it in kilometers introduces a nonsensical aspect, emphasizing the complexity of understanding time. Discussing special dimensions and our familiar threed world may lead people to perceive such ideas as unconventional. In our 3D reality, spatial positions are fixed, facilitating easy movement between places. For example, if one forgets to buy milk at the store, it's simple to return and make the purchase. However, the time spent on this task cannot be recovered. It is lost irreversibly to the past. In contrast to objects in 3D space, which tend to remain in place, time behaves differently. It moves unidirectionally, akin to an arrow, a concept referred to by scientists as the arrow of time. Once time passes, it cannot be retrieved, unlike physical objects that persist in space. This unidirectional flow of time adds a distinctive dimension to our experiences. To contemplate this, consider waking up in empty space one day without reference points. Determining up, down, left, or right becomes a challenging feat. Determining directions in empty space can be challenging, but understanding time is a simpler concept. Time traces its origins to the Big Bang, the beginning of our historical continuum. It unfolds in the present, where we find ourselves tethered to an uncertain and dynamic future. Memories of the past are available. For example, you may recall your morning trip to the store and how you forgot to buy milk. However, the ability to envision specific details of future events, such as what you will eat for breakfast next Thursday, remains elusive. The arrow of time that began at the Big Bang is steadily moving forward, and scientists use the second law of thermodynamics, known as entropy, to illustrate the journey. Entropy serves as a measure of disorder in the universe, and this concept is intertwined with the cosmic event of the Big Bang. Initially, all the matter in the universe existed in a remarkably compressed state, forming an infinitesimally small point. This state is characterized by very low entropy, representing a highly orderly condition. However, following the Big Bang, the universe has undergone expansion, causing matter to move away from each other, leading to a higher entropy system. This increase in entropy, coupled with the arrow of time, has given rise to galaxies, stars, planets, and life. Entropy serves as the distinguishing factor between the past and the future. It elucidates the sequential progression of human existence from birth to life to death. Time, on the macro scale, relentlessly progresses forward, indifferent to any attempts to halt or alter its course. The arrow of time is notably conspicuous in our everyday experiences and on larger scales. This macroscopic view aligns with our familiar sense of time, allowing us to discern and navigate through different periods, such as distinguishing the year 1900 from 2018. However, the behavior of time differs at the quantum level, introducing unique dynamics, analogous to waking up in the vastness of empty space, where orientation becomes challenging. The rules governing time take on distinct characteristics. Yet, as we return to Earth, the macroscopic world, orienting ourselves in time becomes intuitive, reflecting the consistent and discernible flow of the arrow of time at this larger scale. Observing the flow of time is straightforward on a macro scale, but delving into the microscopic realm of physics, particularly with entropy, challenges our understanding of time. The arrow of time appears unidirectional on the macro scale, but when scrutinizing the fundamental particles composing the universe, time takes on a more complex nature. 
At the particle level, time seems to operate and flow in multiple directions, both forward and backward, highlighting the nuanced and intricate behavior of time in the microcosm. In the realm of physics, there are no fundamental laws that dictate a distinction between the past and the future. The ability to contemplate what you plan to have for dinner tomorrow, in contrast to what you desired yesterday, is a consequence of the arrow of time and the concept of entropy, both integral to the universe's history, marked by a discernible beginning. The significance of the arrow of time and entropy becomes apparent as they effectively govern not only our individual lives, but also the broader functioning of the universe. The well-established understanding that entropy is on the rise explains the current state of life. However, a less addressed question pertains to why the entropy of the universe was initially so low. Unraveling, this mystery could provide deeper insights into the fundamental nature of the cosmos. The explanation is straightforward. Entropy was lower yesterday than it is today, and this logic can be traced back to the Big Bang. The prevalent idea is that the universe originated at the moment of the Big Bang, a concept widely discussed. While this may hold true based on our current understanding, there's a caveat. Einstein's general relativity provides insights into the universe's dynamics, allowing us to backtrack to mere seconds after the Big Bang. However, our equations break down beyond that point. Presently, there's no established law of physics indicating the absence of time before the Big Bang or the potential existence of a reversed arrow of time. The limitations of our current scientific knowledge prevent us from exploring these aspects further at this time. In a previous video titled Entropy, The End of the Universe, I explored the potential future of our expanding universe, looking at the increasing entropy that will eventually lead to a state where everything is incredibly far apart. This distant future represents a universe in which space will become essentially empty and even atoms will be too far apart to interact. Despite this seemingly inexorable progress, there are small fluctuations in entropy in the universe, similar to the daily fluctuations in temperature. While these fluctuations are small on shorter timescales, such as a human lifetime, they become significant on astronomically huge timescales, on the order of 10 to the power of 56 years. In this context, quantum fluctuations could play a crucial role, potentially causing an extremely random and dramatic decrease in entropy. This hypothetical scenario could mimic conditions similar to the Big Bang, offering a potential explanation for the arrow of time and the origin of our universe. It highlights the complex interplay between entropy fluctuations and quantum dynamics on scales beyond our current understanding of time and space. To address these questions, it is essential to reconcile quantum mechanics with Einstein's general relativity, establishing a scientific connection between the atomic realm of quantum physics and the cosmic scale of stars, galaxies, and black holes in the universe. Referred to as the theory of everything, this concept is currently under active investigation by numerous scientists. The aim is to potentially elucidate the origin of our universe and perhaps provide evidence for the existence of a multiverse. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and sharing as it significantly contributes to supporting this channel. All the best and see you next time.